Hi everyone, in this lecture we will be talking about CSS paddings. CSS paddings are the distance uh, or the space surrounding the content. So the first space that comes right after the content is the padding, then we have the border, then we have the margin. Now uh, CSS paddings, uh, the they are applied in the same way as margin, but there's their concept ex concept is a little bit different, and their position is different. But the concept is the same. You provide some space. So let's grab our section. Uh, we have padding top as the first value. I'm going to set it to 15 pixels. Let's save that, and you can see that this is padding. It is color light green. I'm sure about this. This is light green. Then we have padding right, 20 pixels. So if I come here, you can see that here is the padding right. It is in the same spot as the margin because we don't have any margin, but it is different than margin. If you provide margin, let's say margin right, let's set it to 30 pixels. And if you come here, so you have padding and then outside the padding, you have margin. You can see visualize it right here. So you have padding, which is green. And then outside of it, you have the margin. If you had borders, border is going to be something that separates padding from the margin. So I'm just going to remove this. Then you have padding bottom, which I'm going to set to 25 pixels. There we go. It is on the bottom. Then eventually you have padding um, left, which I'm going to set to 30 pixels. So this is a representation of the padding. We do have the same uh, shorthand uh, with padding as well. These places where we put them is going to be the same as uh, the margin. So I'm going to say padding. So padding is going to be, so the first value is top, 15 pixels. The second value is right, 20 pixels. Then we have bottom, and then we have left. Let's save that to 15, 20, 25, and 30. That's it for this lecture. See you in the next one.